Hey guys, it's Sandy, and in today's nail art tutorial, I'm going to be showing you five different ways that you can create a French manicure at home. Let me know down in the comments which of these ways is your favorite, and hit that subscribe button for new nail art videos every week. Let's start with the most common way to create a French tip. Begin with a base coat to protect your natural nails. This will help to keep your French mani lasting all week. Then apply a coat of a sheer pink or beige polish for your base. This will enhance and even out the color of your nail bed. Now choose a bright white polish. Start at the side of your nail and slowly rotate the finger you're working on to add the white tip. The trick here is to slowly turn your finger. This works a lot better than moving the brush, especially when you're using your non-dominant hand. Finish off with a fast drying top coat to seal it in and add a beautiful shine. Moving on to the second way. For this method that's perfect for beginners, we're going to be using some white tip guides. You can find these at any drugstore. A ton of different brands make them. Just peel them off using your fingers or tweezers, and then apply it firmly right below your smile line. This is where the white meets the pink. Then paint some white nail polish above the sticker, and before it has a chance to dry, peel the sticker off for a perfect, clean line. Then you can apply a sheer nude polish over it and top it off with a fast drying top coat. All done! Okay, let's try another way. Let's begin with a base coat. Wait for it to dry and then apply your sheer natural polish for an even base. This time we're going to be using a French manicure pen. Again, these come from a wide variety of brands and they can easily be found at your local drugstore. Once your sheer base color has dried, you can use the pen to fill in the white tip of your nail. I'm not sure why they call it a pen, it's more like a marker really. This is probably the most fun way to create French tips. I really liked coloring in the white part of my nail with the marker. The white isn't as bright as the white polish, so it leaves you with a more natural looking French manicure. Once you're done coloring in your white tips, seal it all in with a top coat. This is important because without a top coat, the white pen will come off the next time you wash your hands. On to number four. Again, start off with a base coat and then use a sheer polish. To create this French manicure, we're going to be using a white striper. Place the striping brush at the side of your nail and then rotate your finger to separate the pink from the white. Continue using the brush to fill in the rest of your white tip. Make sure to get the very sides of the nail and correct the smile line if you need to. Seal it all in with a fast drying top coat. For the final and fifth way, we're going to start off with the white polish. Use vertical strokes at the tip of your nail to cover your white tip. It's totally okay if it's messy. Next, you will need a small paintbrush. I like to use an oval shaped one. Fill up a little container with nail polish remover and then dip your brush in to completely saturate it. Make sure to lightly wipe off the sides of it so it isn't dripping wet. Then use the brush to correct the line where the white meets the pink. Keep dipping it into the nail polish remover and brushing until you get the desired look that you want. When it's complete, you can add the sheer nude color over it and then finish off with the top coat. And there you have it, five different ways to achieve a perfect French manicure. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and click the info card in the top right corner to watch more nail tutorials here on Cute Polish. Take care, and I'll see you next time!